Hi there, welcome back to the English class. What are we going to do today? In your fourth unit, Film and Theatre, we are going to pay a special tribute to a special personality. We all know that movies are born out of the director's thought, his dream. But who gives this vision life? The actresses, the actors pour life into that vision. Today we are going to talk about one such actress, a star of the Telugu cinema field. But more than a star, I would call her a shooting star because she shone so bright but disappeared too early. That is none other than Savitri Madam. And even though her time in Telugu cinema wasn't enough for us, it was more than enough for us to learn so much. Her contribution to Telugu cinema was so immense that even today we find ourselves reading about her and learning from her. Let's see what we have in store. The gorgeous, the beautiful Savitri Madam. The Indian film industry has completed more than a century. It is a fitting tribute to the world of cinema to recollect our favorite films, producers, directors, actors, musicians and art directors. So today we will enthrall ourselves talking about Savitri Madam. Telugu audiences are proud of many great producers, directors and artists. Now here, pay attention to this word. Artist, A-R-T-I-S-T, -I -I is a person who creates drawings or paintings. But an artist with an E is a person who performs and entertains us. So we are talking about an artist with an E. Savitri is one prestigious artist. Prestigious meaning reputed. Ever since she was eight, she evinced interest in learning dance. Evinced meaning displayed freely. Later, she associated herself with the theater. She had little difficulty in entering the movie field. When Savitri was 12, she was offered a role in the film Agni Pariksha. But what happened there? Finally, she was dropped, saying she looked too young for the role. But did she give up? No. She was given a song sequence, just a tiny guest appearance in the movie Patala Bhairavi. There's a song in it. Ranante Rane Ranu. It's a very lively performance by a spirited girl who is mockingly teasing her lover. Her expressions of false anger, turning other side and laughing to herself had caught everyone's attention. She stole many a heart. Savitri's part in it was brief, but the effect of her performance was considerable. Her expressions were beautiful. A lot of filmmakers recognized a potential artist in her. They thought, oh, this girl will grow up to be somebody in Telugu cinema. As a result, she was elevated, meaning raised to the role of a heroine by a noted director L.V. Prasad sir in the film Samsaram. But see what happened. On the sets, she was so nervous, she had to repeat many takes and this proved a setback for her. Her role was given to someone else and she was given a small role of less importance. But I'm so glad she did not disappear here. I'm so glad she came back. In the film Devadasu, what an epic film. In 1953, the best picturization of Sarat Chandra Chatterjee's novel Devda. Parvati comes alive in Savitri. Here, Devada is the son of a zamindar and Parvati is his next door poor neighborhood friend. They grow up and fall in love, but the divisions in society don't let them become one. They are prevented from marrying each other. And the same girl who played a bubbly person in love 
when she's mad, married, forced to go into a loveless marriage, she turns into a zombie, a lifeless person. She is forced to marry a much elder person. So in this movie, you have to see the lovesick Devadas, love loan Parvati and Chandramukhi, a love requited person. It is a tragic triangle of love stories in which Savitri shown as a character Parvati. The young Parvati with curly hair, a lock of hair straying to her forehead. That was an iconic poster in those days. The large, round, blackberry eyes looking out from an innocent face left an indelible imprint. That means an imprint that couldn't be erased from any mind. In the minds of all Sini lovers, she portrayed Devada's love and the role of a rich man's wife marvelously. Savitri left her mark in this evergreen Telugu classic. Next, another epic movie, Savitri established her credentials with Ardhangi. Here, Savitri initially is portrayed as a determined lady who knows how to get justice for herself or, a matter of fact, for anyone else. But she is tricked into marrying Nageshwar Rao, who is a mentally retarded person. Now, you must see her sway between a, an affectionate wife who wants to take care of her mentally retarded husband and a determined wife who wants to know why her husband has turned into a mentally retarded person. She finds out the truth and she becomes his knight in, to save him from the clutches of his stepmother and stepbrother. She fights for him and transforms him into a healthy person towards the end of a movie. So we see two different shades of her in the very same movie. Her exceptionally brilliant performance as a woman forced to marry a mentally retarded person. She nurses him back to health, almost like a mother. She also teaches a lesson to her in-laws who conspire. Conspire means make bad plans against her husband. Nageshwar Rao is a joy to watch in this movie. Have a look whenever you're free. Savitri captured the audience with her charm and magnificent acting. Look at the use of words to express what we feel about her. She was able to convey a wide range of feelings through her expressive eyes. It is said that when you set your eyes on Savitri, madam, you'll not venture before, beyond her face. You won't look anywhere but her face. She was able to convey a wide range of feelings through her expressive eyes. Her mischievous look, it captivates anyone. The look of fake anger provokes. The look filled with real anger pierces the heart. The look of passion while waiting for her lover, the pain-filled look when her love fails, the confident look that seems ready to face any situation. All these myriad emotions, what's myriad? Huge number of emotions, all in one set of eyes, are hidden in her eyes. The dimensions are endless and pages can be filled to describe the magic spell of her eyes. Savitri's amazing talent was in full form in the hit comedy Misama. Here we see a very different Savitri. She is naughty, she is active, she is a little shut tempered, and she is a Christian girl. This is a story where a Christian lady and a Hindu boy pretend to be husband and wife just because they wanted a job in a school. And next what ensues is a comedy of errors where towards the end she discovers that she is the missing daughter of that school's principal. But during this time 
what all happens and what comical things occur is for you to watch for yourself. Mary in the film comes into an agreement with a Hindu youth, M.T. Rao, played by NTR, to pretend as a couple in order to get a job in school. Mary was a Christian to the core, where Rao was a tolerant Hindu. So you can see he was a subtle guy and she was the impulsive one. What results is a three-hour pure comedy for the audience. So when you get time, watch Miss Amma. Now, she was also an inspiration to not only Telugu cinema actors, but even in the Bollywood. Let's see what they had to say about her. Savitri was adored for the matchless ease in expression. That means swinging between characters within a fraction of a second. Anger, softness, mischief, confidence. It's so difficult, but she, with matchless ease, she could do that. Meena Kumari, the heroine of Hindi film, said, when I watch Savitri's acting, I usually get doubts about my own acting. So when someone forces you to think, look inside and improve, you can imagine how inspiring they are. Her striking expressive eyes and her superb sense of timing made her one of the greatest actresses. Sometimes the actor and actress have to improve upon the scene at the moment. The director will not spoon feed them in every scene what to do. Sometimes it has to come at the split of the second naturally, something different, something innovative. And she was famous for that. Amitabh Bachchan felt Savitri was one of the first actresses with unbelievable spontaneity, split of the second decisions, which resulted in brilliance. Maya Bazaar, oh my goodness, another amazing collection is another film that brought fame to Savitri. She played the role of Shashirekha. Now, to speak about Maya Bazaar, I don't know where to start. Recollecting the 16 Anna's Telugu last clad in Parikini in the song Alibili Ammaiki reminds us of the rich Telugu culture of yesteryears. So in the first half of the movie, Savitri is a regular soft-spoken girl getting ready to get married. But the problem, she's already in love with someone else. Now, Bhima's son Gatot Kacha comes to the rescue. He tells her, I will disguise as you and I'll make sure this marriage breaks up. Why don't you go stay in some safe place? So imagine Gatot Kacha in the form of Savitri. Who's portraying this role in the movie now? Savitri herself. Sometimes she's so masculine like S. V. Ranga Rao and then she tells herself, oh, I'm supposed to play Shashireka now and then she goes back to her docile feminine character. So the switching between the masculinity and the femininity is so smooth, it, it leaves the crowd in laughter, splits of laughter. In the final part of the film, Savitri plays the role of Maya Shashireka. That means not the actual girl, but Ghatot Kacha, disguised as Shashireka. She walks in a masculine man, imitating the legendary S.V. Ranga Rao, acting as Ghatot Kacha in the film to perfection. I'm sure I did not do much justice describing this movie. Again, have a look yourself. You'll see the immense ease of performance of this great lady. Look at her charming face. The theatre rocks with laughter when Lakshmana Kumara, the groom whom Shashireka did not want to marry, is teased by the Maya Shashireka. She switches from feminine to masculine in the twinkling of the eye and that groom goes mad unable to believe what's happening in front of him, he literally goes crazy and runs out of the wedding setting. Needless to say, a female artist displaying masculine demon qualities, Katot Kacha was a demon, with a club in a hand has no parallel. Again, 
watch it now savitri gets totally involved in whatever role she plays that is a sign of a true artist they don't fake they don't act they just become that's what she does chivari ki migledi is one such film she played the role of a nurse in a psychiatry ward in a particular scene the nurse had a nervous breakdown and cries uncontrollably the shot was over cut the director said but savitri who played the role could not stop crying she went on and on and on why because she felt so much of the character within her she was transformed she was unable to pull herself away from the grief of that scene everyone in the set had to run to her and pacify her cool her down how many of us can be so involved in the work we do but that's the true sign of a good person who's honest to his work the film became a milestone in her career and it fetched her the title mahanati Savitri was awarded the title Mahanati meaning the supreme artist she also received the presidential award for her performance in Chivaruki Migledi the magnum opus of Savitri magnum opus means the best work of Savitri she was the recipient of Kalaima Mani and Nadigayar Dilakam from Tamil Film Industry two more awards bestowed on her Savitri had nearly 300 films to her credit. Her career was nearly 30 years long. She was equally admired by Telugu and Tamil film lovers. She also acted in Hindi and Kannada. She had a lion's share of films. That means all the movies wanted Savitri as the heroine, and she was at the zenith of her career, a peak. Her passion for films was so strong that she directed and produced a few films in spite of certain adversities. Tragically, the later part of her life was full of adverse situations, bad conditions in her life. Yet, she did not give up her love for her work. Savitri was a humane artist. She was so generous. It's hard that she herself brought herself down to the almost a verge of poverty by donating whatever she had to whoever was in need. She was generous to the people who were in need. Once she donated all her jewelry, at that very moment she was all decked up in expensive jewelry, and when she heard that the prime minister's fund was lacking. she just on the spurt of the moment gave away all those expensive jewelry to the prime minister's fund her rise as a star was like a meteor so bright but vanished so soon she left the world in 1981 and it is said that out of depression a person who is so artistic in nature they are usually very delicate in heart they get affected very easily their emotions are always surging up and down and she succumbed to depression due to some very bad instances in her life she took up alcoholism and that affected her well-being in 1981 she left an envied and unsurpassed legacy behind her everyone envies her for what she had become in such a spot, short span of time savitri is no more and she but she is among us with her unforgettable roles her versatility versatility means able to do different things lives on and on and on paying tribute to her the director and producer dasari narayan rao said many artists have forgotten soon after their death but it is not so with savitri she will be remembered as long as celluloid lives on all her films would amount to an album of life 
Look what he's saying. You pick up each of her movies, you put together, and you have an entire life in front of you. Somewhere a girl, somewhere a woman, somewhere a person who has been subjected to difficulties, somewhere where she has risen out of it. So many of them, it could become an album of life due to their range of themes. They encompass human lives and passions in their full diversity. What is cinema? It is a fiction or a reality. A movie is made with a fictional story, but it always has a reality. It is inspired from the life and the world around us. Many people say many things, but Savitri gave a different definition. She said, cinema is life and life is eternal. So is cinema because life runs through it. And Savitri is eternal since she gave that life to cinema. See, my grandmother, my mother, me, now you, generations are coming and learning about her. So you can imagine the immensity in her. Please take some time out and read more about her work on Google. So I'll see you soon in, with another chapter of English. Bye-bye.